Okay, I'm making a uh, check valve for the hose. The hose was a little bit too small for the three quarter inch check valve. So I heated it up and shoved a screwdriver in there to expand it so I could use uh, 5200 to glue it here. Hang on, let me shut the radio off. So basically what I'm going to do is attach this hose to my $37 500 gallon bilge pump which I got at Home Depot on sale. Actually it wasn't on sale, that's their price. Here's my uh, through hole fitting. I didn't want to have an open hose so I bought this three quarter inch check valve and what I did was I took that screw out right there and removed two turns from the spring and it opens much easier. Matter of fact I've already tried it on a five gallon bucket of water and two turns cut off of the spring here with this Sahara 500 pump at 12 volts with a three quarter inch discharge empties five gallons in 45 seconds at 12 volts. If I use six volts it takes about four minutes. Um, basically I'm going to use this in my kayak because out in the ocean it does get water in for some reason. Uh, last few times I've been out with the loaded rear end of my kayak with a bait well and some other things. I've gotten a lot of water in there. I think it's from the front hatch. I'm not sure. I'll have to look on YouTube and copy some of the hatch uh, seal videos which I intend to do. But this threaded part, if I cut it off right here, will fit perfectly in there but I don't want to make it a permanent mount so I'm going to go ahead and use this hose. Also what I'm going to do is this pump fits perfectly in the outback right in front of the rear hatch with about a one inch space so I'm just going to jam it in there with some uh, pool noodle foam and let's see what happens. Alright, I've taken this hose that I expanded with a little bit of heat and I shoved my screwdriver handle in there and expanded it. It fits really tight in there now. Before it was loose but now it's really tight. I can hardly pull it out. So what I'm going to do is uh, Lexel or use 5200. Uh, just glue the crap out of it using this stuff probably. Maybe 5200. Just got to be careful that I don't uh, drip any in there. And then do the same thing on the other side. This side will go to the outlet. That outlet will go there wherever, however length, whatever length I need and this side will go to the outlet of the pump. So I'll have a check valve to where if my uh, yak tumps over water will not go in the uh, through hull mount and go backwards into my kayak. I've seen guys that will take and make a loop as such out of this hose and get like an air trap in there but the problem with that is if you develop an air trap in this pump it won't pump water. One other thing I like about this pump is if your yak tips upside down and you're upside down and it fills up it's automatically gonna turn on. You can see the float switch in there when I turn it upside down it automatically will uh, turn on so that uh, regardless of if you're taking on water or not, if you're upside down, your pump will be running. So uh, we'll get this thing rigged up and we will show you how it's done. And once we get it installed, we'll show you that. My front hatch I use for my battery for my fish finder. Here's my wires coming up through my front hatch. I just put my battery inside here. I cut out the uh, divider and it fits perfect so I don't want to use this hatch for my battery for the fish finder what I'm gonna do is use the rear hatch and I just made a real quick uh, 
battery holder out of cutting board, use some tie wraps, sets right in there perfectly. And what I'll do is put a waterproof connector. I'll uh, solder these wires on here, waterproof this, and then I will use a waterproof connector to connect to the bilge pump, which will sit right about here. Uh, I'm thinking about putting the outlet right here on the front to where the water just comes out and goes right down my scupper holes. I don't know if I want to drill a hole in the side or not. I've seen a lot of guys where they put the holes on the side, but I think the outlet somewhere here facing forward and then it just shoots out and goes right out the scupper holes will be uh, the best way. I don't know yet. We'll have to uh, see about that. Okay, here's my through hull fitting <clears throat> that I'm going to use on my automatic bilge pump. And what I've done is took some cutting board material um, about a half inch thick. This is from a uh, fish cutting board and what I did is made an angled I don't know if you can see it an angled washer so that the outlet is angled outward from the center of my hull. Let me take this apart and I'll show you. So you can see what I've done here. I made a, a washer that's angled that way. When this thing mounts in the hull, it will tilt outwards and the stream of water, instead of going straight up and right back in the uh, rear end of my kayak, will come out and go overboard. And I just took two pieces of that cutting board material that I use here cut them out, drilled a hole. Uh, this is a 1 and 1 16th inch threaded hole. And then I uh, put them on a belt sander and I angled both pieces to where the bottom and the top are square. So you can see that this piece here will touch flush with the um, top of the kayak hull. And this piece will go underneath the kayak hull and then the nut will go underneath. So that way I have an angled, the whole material of the kayak will go between the two washers there, the angled pieces. And so that will give me a direction of flow <clears throat> outside of the uh, kayak when the pump turns on. Alright, this is where I decided to put the um, <clears throat> outlet for the bilge pump, right about here. Not only is it easily reachable, but here I could not reach it from either the rear or the uh, front hatch. So I put it right here, which will give me plenty of room for the hose to wrap right around and come to here. Uh, just had to make sure that it was centered. To where the full um, base of the washer will touch on both sides to where my Lexel will uh, adhere to and uh, give me the most coverage. So let me install this dude and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, here's the installation of my outlet right here. As you can see, it's angled outwards to where the water will come out and over the uh, side of the hull instead of straight up and back into my rear hatch area. Uh, the only thing I have to do now is take this hose, hook it up to the uh, pump and to the nipple on the outlet and we're good to go. So that is uh, the beginning of part two of my video. 
hope you guys enjoy that and you can see that that angled outlet will hopefully be a benefit if not I can always take it apart and pull that wedged washer out of there and also the one on the bottom that way I've got a square flat uh, area to where it compresses and the Lexel will not only seal it but it will um, keep it there permanently it's an adhesive I like the Lexel it's way better than silicone <clears throat> so everybody should be using this stuff on plastic especially on their kayak rather than silicone I swear by it they use it underwater <clears throat> so there we go all I have to do is hook up the hose and the check valve and we'll be good to go and we will give you guys a final test when I do that.